Hey guys and welcome to the hearts for today's DIY. I am so excited to share with you how I made this very cute farmhouse by Qual Decor using Dollar Tree items. So if you like this project, keep on watching! I grabbed these two flying discs and jumping rope at Dollar Tree and I have several sizes of dowel but I will only use some of them. I used the ruler to find the center of the disc and then I marked 2 inches from the center and then I draw a straight line from there. Let's do the same thing on the other disc. At first, I used the scissors to cut the edges, but the edges is splinter, so I just plug in my soldering gun and it works. Here I use my scissors and the disc did not break so I continue using the scissors on that part. Then I make sure that our two discs are lined up equally. Again, I use my soldering iron on this part, but it's optional, you can use your scissors. And don't throw away the part that you cut because you're gonna use it for later. Then I use the sandpaper to smooth it out. I apply the E6000 using a paintbrush since the this is so thin and we also want a cleaner look. Then I added some hot glue and I did the same thing. I used the paintbrush to spread the glue. This is the part of the disc that we cut earlier and I only need the half of the circle so I just mark and cut. Then I used the big dowel that I've got from Walmart. It's 97 cents. I used the basket as a guide to help me know where I will cut the dowel. I did not show it but I use loppers to cut the dowel.
then set aside the other half of the dowel because you will use it later. Then it's time to attach the dowel. I use E6000 and I will also use some hot glue. Let's attach the center of the disc using E6000 in hot glue. Then I lay out all the dowels. These are from Dollar Tree. It came in one pack, 12 pieces. Then I just use hot glue to attach them. Then I glue the other half of the disc. You can ignore this part because I ended up removing it later. But if you want to add some detail like this, I just use the cookie sheet. Then I use the other half of the dowel from earlier and the jump rope. Then I cut the handles off of the jump rope. The hole of the jump rope handle is a bit small, it doesn't fit the dowel, so I just cut it and sand it. Then I used hot glue to attach our handle. Then I hammer a nail into the dowel. Once the nail is halfway through, I apply hot glue to the edge of the dowel. Then I attach the dowel and finish hammering the nail. Then I secure it with hot glue. It looks like a bike now. <laughs> yep. Then I use the white gloss rust volume spray paint from Home Depot to paint the bike. Now that it is dry, I attach the basket using zip ties. Then I use this jet black acrylic paint to give it a distressed look using a dry brush technique. Then I use the K West acrylic paint on the basket. This is optional, you can use any color that you like. One way to do this, you can paint the basket first before you will attach it to the bike. Then I also distress our basket using the jet black that we used earlier. I 
I cut a small circle from a foam board to cover the handle and I also distress it. I just glued some twine so that I can hang the bike. Then, voila, we're done! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up and let me know on the comment below what do you think of this project. I'm so in love with this project. And if you are new to my channel, you are welcome here. Thanks for dropping by. I would love you to be a part of the Hearts family. So please subscribe and click the notification bell so that if I upload a new video, you are not going to miss out. And thank you to all of my amazing subscribers. So guys, see you soon and take care. Bye-bye.